Welcome back. Well, a huge change for the armed services this week. The Air Force has announced it will no longer require cadets at the Air Force Academy to use the phrase, so help me God, when they enlist in the Air Force. This is without precedent. Yeah, listen to what the Air Force had to say about it in a statement. It said, we take any instance in which airmen report concerns regarding religious freedom. Seriously, we're making the appropriate adjustments to ensure that our airmen's rights are protected. And this, of course, uh, is, is coming on the heels of what happened earlier this month when an airman was unable to complete his reenlistment because he didn't want to say that. Um, I want to ask you at home the question this morning. Is, is this right? Should, are we becoming too politically correct and, and uh, allowing the, the, uh, this secular society to, to overrule a, a Christian society and, and something that's been said for decades? Decades, well, centuries, actually, not at the Air Force, which hasn't existed for more than 60 years, but uh, certainly in the, in the U.S. military. Yeah, the military is becoming incredibly politically correct, but more than that, you have to ask, whose rights are violated? I mean, there is no, look, the, the Constitution prohibits an establishment of religion by the government, and it should, as far as I'm concerned, and it does in the First Amendment. But is it really an establishment of a religion? And so who is it hurting? Well, here's what the legal letter written to the Air Force had to say about this. It says the Establishment Clause specifically prohibits the government from requiring a non-believer to take an oath that affirms the existence of God. That was Monica Miller, the attorney uh, from that legal center, which sent the letter to the Air Force. So I don't, I don't actually think the Constitution says that. It says that the U.S. government shall not establish a religion unless there's a clause I'm missing. But, but the point is, here's the point. Activists have decided that any mention of God in public somehow threatens the rights of religious minorities. And I would argue it's a threat to all of us when we don't acknowledge a higher authority, non-specifically but still, than, than the U.S. government. When you think the, the only authority in the universe is the government you're living under, then that government can do anything. Mm -hmm. And that's why the founders insisted, and a lot of them weren't you know, Orthodox Christians, but they still insisted that we acknowledge a higher authority because it was a limit on the power of government. And without that, boy, people get radical. Right. So, many of them were deists, and many of, well, you know, God is scattered throughout much of our founding documents. Um, Richard Dawkins, an author, author of the book The God Delusion, um, says that he thinks that too many Americans right now are convinced, this is what he says, too many religious Americans are convinced that they can't trust people who don't subscribe to a faith. It's time for the secular to make themselves known. The incident betrays a subtext of intolerance and hostility towards secular people that is embedded in American culture and public institutions. Yeah, people are suspicious of atheists, there's no doubt about it, but I don't see Christians or any people of faith, Orthodox Jews, anybody who takes faith seriously acting half as aggressively as atheists have been. I don't notice Christian groups filing lawsuits forcing other people to do things they don't want to do, but I see a ton of atheist groups doing that recently. Right, and billboards being taken out to try to, you know, get you to somehow not believe in God. You know, see that scattered. I saw that in the Pennsylvania mountains driving. There was a big billboard uh, by an atheist group. I'm saying, really? That, that's what you're going to focus on? Today, yeah, if this doing? is the way that, that people want to make sense of the world that they live in and find purpose, let them do it. Right. Yeah. So, plus I, I personally have never been mugged uh, by any Orthodox Christian. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> still ahead.